Welcome back, my brother. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why some guys cannot move on from a relationship. Even if you want this woman back, you're gonna have to break the pair bond so that it will allow you to have a new honeymoon phase when you get back with her. And this is the same process. Either you wanna get back with her in the future or you're gonna break up with her permanently and she's not coming back, we have to do this process. So this is why men fail to move on from a relationship quickly. Either if he's been divorced or maybe he's with the love of his life and she left after six months, it's the same process. My name is Ed Baxter and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betrayed to Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. The biggest contributing factor for why a guy does not move forward in a relationship is he emotionally suppresses all the bad feelings. And he does this namely by one big mechanism, which I call sedation. In other words, he does not want to feel this, so he sedates himself with this other thing. Namely, it's porn or alcohol or sports or even working or even being a father. And so he doing all these things mainly to distract himself from having to deal with the pain that's inside. Time doesn't help you heal. Time helps you forget. And then what ends up happening is to say two or three years down the road, something happens, song comes on the radio, your kid makes that face that your wife used to make, and it all comes back. And you're like, what the fuck? I thought it was over. And it's like, no, motherfucker, you just didn't deal with the pain. And so what you did is you relied on time to heal it. But time, again, it does not heal it. Time helps you forget. The only thing that can heal your pain is you diving into it and resolving it from within. The second reason guys can't move on, his identity is tied to her. And so from his perspective, his happiness is with her. So if she's not in his life, he cannot have happiness. And so he looks at this. He says, this woman was the love of my life. He's telling himself, I can only have love with her. He says, this woman was my future. Without her, he has no future. This woman is the mother of my children, which means without her, I have no family. And so his identity gets tied up in this woman. So I have no family means I'm a failure as a father. She doesn't love me means I am unlovable. And his identity is tied to this person. As long as that identity is tied to this person, he will eternally suffer. And so he has to decouple that. He has to break this pair bond that he had with her. But a lot of guys don't want to do that because they fall into the false belief of if I break that pair bond, then I will say it's over. And if I say it's over, then it'll truly be over. And so really part of this identity hold is that he's still keeping the door open for her to come back. Part of what keeps guys from moving on is lack of closure. And the closure that he looks for, he tries to get from her. He says, hey, tell me what's wrong. What did I do wrong? Why do you not want to be with me? Why don't you love me anymore? Don't you see what you're doing with the kids? Tell me, I want to understand all these things. Why do you get with that guy? And the thing is that she'll never tell you the full truth because she doesn't want to cause more pain or suffering or she just doesn't want to be bothered with it. She wants to move on. And so getting closure from her is unnecessary. You don't need to get closure from her. You don't need to know why or what it is that she, you did wrong. And even if you did ask her and she chose to try to tell you, it's probably going to be wrong because most women don't understand what attracts them and makes them happy in a relationship because they're not very conscious as to how they operate. And they're not very conscious of how their sexuality actually works. Some women really are, but a lot of them are not. And so for you, if you want to move on quickly, don't get closure from her. Figure out what you need to do in a relationship. Find out what your part and path is in a relationship. Say, as a man, as me, this is what I contribute in a relationship. And so when then a woman breaks up with you, be like, okay, I know what I did right. I know what I did wrong. I see where I screwed up, but I also see where she screwed up too. And when you're able to understand that, you'll just let the whole thing go. Another hook is nostalgia, romanticizing the past or a greater future with her. It's still tied into his identity. And so he'll think, well, these were the good old days. I'll never find another woman like her. She was the love of my life. We were high school sweethearts and then she cheated on me. And now what are we going to do? It's like, yeah, well, you keep romanticizing that. You can't let that go. And so the solution to this one is to say, you know what? That was great. Have gratitude for it. I had a great time with her. She was an awesome woman. We had a good time while it lasted. And in fact, it was so good, I want more of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a commitment to find more of that in the future. It doesn't have to be with her, it'll be with the next person, but I am going to have that in my life once again. And so by you making this commitment to yourself, this promise that you're gonna go figure this out and have this for yourself, now it takes you out of this victim mode of, it just happened to me to, I'm going to create. And this place of power allows you to move forward powerfully.
There's this fear that a lot of people have of just being alone, that for some reason they're intrinsically unlovable. And really this comes from a place that they just don't love themselves. They don't find themselves worthy of love and affection because they don't have a cultivated relationship with themselves. And so for a lot of men, they just can't move on because they're afraid of being alone and they'll jump into another relationship really quickly. They try to kind of put a band-aid over this hole in their heart. And so this whole concept of, I'm afraid of being alone, for most men, in fact, I would say for all men, it's also saying, I'm not attractive. And so the solution to, I will always be alone is, hey, why don't you go out there and determine and figure out how to be an attractive man that women actually value so that they wanna throw themselves at you and you have never have to worry about being alone. The fact that you could do this and that you can see this and you have this evidence in your mind and you're not working off of some crazy imagination of a fatalistic future, but you have this data in your mind that you can see that women actually like you will say, yeah, I'm not going to be alone because I am attractive. I am lovable. Women do desire me. And a lot of men never have this in their life. And so they end up dating the woman who just happens to throw themselves at him. And he says, can I make this work? And he doesn't worry if she's even a really good match for him. He just says, okay, I'm going to make this work because I'm afraid of being alone. I don't feel like I'm valuable. I don't feel like I'm attractive. I don't feel like women actually desire me. Waiting for her to come back. There's so many guys that just... I'm just waiting for her to come back. I'll just wait her out. I'll wait out the guy and she'll, she'll come back to me after she's done with this guy. And then it's like 14 years down the road, she's married, she's had kids, she's divorced that guy and she's with another guy. I'm still waiting for her to come back. It's like, no dude, what you're doing is you're holding on to this past. When you do this, you keep yourself in this insecure position which makes you highly unattractive. You haven't gone and moved forward and made yourself powerful again. She wants to feel that you can move forward powerfully without her. Most women don't want to get back with the guy because she feels like when he makes these last minute changes, he's just manipulating her to try to get her to come back and then as soon as she comes back, he's gonna go back to the way he was. And that's not what she wants. She wants a guy who's doing things for himself. And if you don't break that pair bond, then you're not going to be able to have another honeymoon phase with her. But I think the real fear is, is that if he divorces her in his heart, then it'll truly be over. And so then in some way, some sick fashion, if I can still hold on to her, then there's still some sort of a connection there. And really there isn't. It's just lamenting. It's just living in a state of limerence. And the state of limerence is a toxic place. It's full of just feeling terrible all the time and it prevents you from actually moving forward and being with another woman and having another relationship. And you're like, well, I'm always gonna pair, compare every woman to her. Yeah, you probably will, but you won't even get started to see if that's gonna be the case or give the opportunity for another woman to actually come in there and prove that she could be better. Why? Because you don't even care about yourself. You just care about lamenting this person. You sit in your basement playing World of Warcraft all the time. So you have to break this pair bond. You have to break that off and say, okay, I'm gonna go find better. Which leads us to this next one, the guys can't move on because they have lack of personal growth, which goes into our first point, generally there's a lot of sedation. You know, I just talked about World of Warcraft, but video games is a big part of a lot of reason why guys don't move forward. It's easier to go in and watch a video game or look at porn and get a quick hit of validation, right? I can release with porn or I can go into a video game and nerd out in this and forget about all my problems for a while or I can drink myself stupid. But the problem is, is that this lack of personal growth is the reason that most women don't want to be with guys. They don't have a greater ambition for something more. They don't have this thing that makes them want to move forward. And this is what she wants from you. She wants a guy who is moving forward powerfully in his life. She needs to feel that he is powerful and dominant in his life because that's going to make her feel safe because she's the one who's supposed to be weak. And this isn't a matter of what are the social norms of the day. This is innate in people's DNA. This is how we are. We're all just a bunch of hairless fucking monkeys. And we have to honor this part of our system because if we don't, we have a lot of unsatisfied people. You don't get the kind of woman you want or the sex or the love you want. And she's in a situation where she feels like she's taking care of everything and she has no support, no safety, and she has no emotional rock. And so for you, your lack of personal growth is going to be the biggest hindrance for moving forward. It's better to move forward. Move forward. Stop worrying about the past and just move the fuck forward. You know, it doesn't take a long time to get over a breakup. I know. Got over 3,500 success stories in the Broken to Badass program. Been doing this for a while. And the thing is, it only takes you a couple of weeks. On average, it takes about 10 days. If you're doing the right things, doing the right kind of emotional work, and you're getting your head on straight, and you get the right kind of closure, and you're dealing with the ex in a proper manner to where she's not roping you back in and keeping you in this weird place of confusion, or mixed signals, or not filing for divorce, or whatever it happens to be that she's doing, or she's manipulating you and asking you for money for tires and disappears the next day, or whatever. If you know how to navigate this properly, the clouds can lift in just like two weeks. It's pretty amazing. 
And it goes faster for these guys than it did for me back in 2015, which is great. I'm glad it does. So if you want to learn more about that, obviously go to brokenabadass.com. And if you want to learn what not to do in a breakup, in other words, the things that can really fuck you up, check out this video here. If you like this video, obviously hit the like button, hit subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want me to answer a question for you, go ahead and comment below. Thank you.